gotta say, man, it feels good to be back on a road bike. Though, riding next to cars, <laughs> it's uh, something I definitely don't miss. But yeah, so I rarely get a Saturday morning off. So I figured. bike in a very long time and I gotta tell you man I absolutely love this thing yeah I built it I built this bike I got the bike uh, last year maybe two years ago um, to do an Everest thing so I did I cleared Everest thing on this bike and a couple like unsupported 200 milers like the three peaks ride, which enjoy, which uh, combined Hamilton, Diablo, and Tan, and all that stuff. So there's that kind of deal. And then I just stopped riding road. Whoa, all these bumps and rubble again. Stopped riding road bikes. Because for some reason, none of my friends rode road bikes anymore. Um, <laughs> Somebody pointed out that it's because I keep converting all my homies, all my roadie buddies, into mountain bikers. <laughs> but yeah, today's gonna be super chill. We're gonna join up the Lucky Duck ride. You know, that's gonna be one of my favorite routes. So the Lucky Duck ride, it's pretty interesting because it's either um, really, really sadistic, or it's like super, super chill. And today's route is actually pretty sadistic. It's like 25 miles and 2,500 feet. But the thing you don't know about it is there are major flat sections. <laughs> so, I don't know, this is one of my favorite, favorite uh, routes up there. So I'm gonna join them in for a road ride. Um, Lucky Duck Bicycle Cafe, man. Gonna be pretty sick. So, we meet on Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. So, go there, get yourself a cup of coffee, breakfast, wait for the road ride to start, and then, boom, I guess it'll be game time, you know? Uh, bike I'm riding right now is actually an Ostro Dambler 80 Bikes Ultima Limited. Um, so, if you guys follow road bikes from back in the day, Oster Dandler was an Austrian bike company who made bikes in the, I want to say, late 60s all the way through early 90s. And now they're American owned. Out of New England, New Hampshire, somewhere in the uh, northeast. So the dude, Fred Thomas, he used to race on one of these back, way back when. And then I guess he got the opportunity to buy the name and stuff, and now he owns the rights to it. And 80 bikes, Oster Dambler, USA. Oh, that's from green, so that's me. Uh, so he, he's redesigned a bunch of these frames. I guess they're designed for like northeast coast crits. So yeah, my bike literally, well technically is a crit bike. And this is the same bike I do all my dumb rides with, or used to, because I'm soft now. I do all the dumb rides and the Everestings and yeah. Uh, there's a bike check. I'll, I'll post a link to the bike check on this. Um, on this bike. And I'll also post a link to some of the bike hacks which uh, help me run all my batteries for hella long. Um, and how I run my lights because some of my rides go like, I don't know, past 24 hours. And yeah, there are, there are a few little hacks here and there which I, I make all that stuff work. Especially since I don't bike pack or anything, I don't, you know, if I need to rest or warm up in the middle of the morning, 
post offices, P.O. Box post offices are open 24 hours, heater is always on. So, go ahead and uh, take a break there. Now make it three, two, one, boom! Made it. Yeah, Oakland roads aren't exactly the most road bikes. <laughs> nice color. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't even look. I was right? Like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, <laughs> Handed. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, <laughs> well this is new. Oh, good, man. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, so they're American owned now. They're right in uh, New Hampshire, New England. Yeah, I've seen some of their like old steel stuff. Yeah, um, this one's from 2017. Yeah, fun bike. <laughs> Welcome back. What happened? Well, I mean, it's a long story, but I think you might need to be There's a one point of eight by one point two or something like that. Ooh. It's kind of like floating around in my knee, right? Oh, shit. You don't need to get to the bottom of that. Ass motherfuckers on this ride. That's what's up. Get the triple crown stage rights with the jersey was too ugly to buy. <laughs> so we're going up some sadistic shit, right? Yeah, kind of. Nice stuff, right? I've never been. Dude, it's pretty. Yeah. Take that over cars, though. <laughs> it's not rockets. Oh my hell, it's clobbered me last week. Dude. <laughs> yeah, this year's been pretty gnarly. I actually made through the winter pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe had one little cold. I was in. And I rode down to Sea Otter. <laughs> nice. Camped on the way. I came back. Go back Sunday. 
Monday night. We'll probably go through all those farms and stuff. Right. Something, something's got in there. Yeah, this year has been crazy because of all the super balloons and all that shit. Yeah. I'm just riding around here because my eyes tear up for no fucking reason. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, they get home pretty dry. Yeah. Neddy pot. <laughs> Take some allergy medicine. So you went down to Sea Otter for the hang? My brother and nephew came from Colorado. Nice. To race. <laughs> so I rode down there and watched them. I didn't really didn't participate in Sea Otter too much. They race like Sunday road? Sunday cross country? Morning, Sunday morning for about three hours. That's the cross country race, right? Yeah. Fuck. My brother, or my nephew waited in line for like 30 minutes to meet Kate Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> and I met her in the middle of the skyline. <laughs> Got a picture with her. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. What's her name, man? Brian. Brian. We met her earlier, too. I'm really bad at names, man. I'm sorry. I definitely have seen your name around. It's like, all the Facebook stuff. All right. I haven't ridden road in so long, dude. Yeah, we do a lot of that stuff. No, my brother and nephew also complain because they're from Colorado. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh shit. They've got elevation in their side. They've got Zwift. <laughs> God damn, I forgot how much this sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, legs. It's nice not being in a 40 car bike though. So we're taking like Harbor and all that shit? Nice. <laughs> Sick. Dude, I fucking love that rack. It's just like pretty. Is there cars behind us? Yep. So riding road. This camera's strapped on my chest. It's hot as fuck. Not recommended. Come on, pedal. <laughs> God fucking shit. What the fuck? There we go. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> Mostly mountain bikes at this point, I think. Yeah. So I go back and forth between riding downhill bikes and doing dumb shit and I drop bar. Sounds like a bike, yeah. Oh, and a drop bar mountain bike? Yeah, it's kind of like one uh, something Tomac raced on back in the day. Yeah, I'm my next bike. That's what I want. Dude, they're so fun. Yeah. Ha! Yeah, stick out like a sore thumb. It's fun though, man. Like, it makes everything so much. So much more interesting. I agree. Because you feel like you're pinning it all the time, even though you're going like 10 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my next project. Do it. Yeah, they can be built for really cheap. And they just look cool, man. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, like sitting in the shuttle truck. <laughs> see all these fucking big bikes, and you see that fucking weird fucking drop bar shit. Down goes! Those. I didn't even see it. <laughs> there was those like weird road bumps which you couldn't see. Yeah. I hope yeah. they were alright. Yeah, I hit one pretty hard too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's kind of camouflaged. Yeah. I saw a duck pump something. I was like, what the fuck? And then I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> 
I was looking pretty much straight out in front of my front wheel, and then I looked down right when I did. But yeah, I can see how it's fucking Yeah, hopefully right. There we go, I clipped in. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Yeah, I like coming back in Skyline and this way. It's just pretty. Pretty, pretty. So you just went up a very sadistic climb because it's a breath ride. <laughs> but now we get all that shit. Look at that. Bonus dirt. <laughs> man, it's like some of the most peaceful shit, man. So this is how you like get people to do all those climbs. And don't tell them about it, because on the numbers you don't notice that there's a bunch of flat. <laughs> it's fucking great. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But if you're like, if you ride around here, you kind of get used to ratio rides. So everyone's kind of, they, they know what's up. But yeah, having this between all the steep shit, that's, that's kind of fucked. <laughs> it's nice though, it's super like relaxing. <laughs> It's just super chill. It's so much easier just getting one fucking yeah, just effort. Push, just go. cruise. Hold that cadence and the power output for like, you know, two to three hours non-stop. Yeah, all my uphill rides have been sitting in a truck taking me up to the top. <laughs> yeah. Here in like the steep part of the climb, there's a mountain biker here like pulling his bike off the back of the car. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's how you get up here. <laughs> yep.
saw a big hole right in the middle of the fucking line. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, cornering the rough on a light road bike. It's kind of shitty. That is gorgeous. Look at that. California sucks. Don't come. Dude, that's if one of the switchbacks has like fucking rough shit right in the middle of the racing line. It's like, ah, fuck that. <laughs> This is pretty. I usually climb up this. It is pretty. Look at that. Yeah, Oakland totally sucks for cycling, people. Astro Dambler Ultima Limited. Thanks, Fred Thomas. Man, nice riding with you. Peace out. Dude. How are you? Chill man, how you doing? Good. 